What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay on Raid Hardpoint. Yes, I know I uploaded a Raid Hardpoint on Wednesday. Uh, this one is just really good, guys. I wanted to upload it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the exact scores I got, but... I drop a little over 50 kills and a little fewer than 15 deaths in, in that range so I, it's it's a pretty good gameplay and as you guys can see I'm using an LMG which is not necessarily standard in a lot of competitive play and I'll talk more about that in just a minute because it leads into my main topic so the main topic of this video is trying new strategies and simply being spontaneous uh, this is something that a lot of competitive players forget to do you know you see a lot of people they do the same kind of thing over and over again they copy the pros they they just do the exact same thing they'll do this exact same routes and that's why some teams struggle with s and d they'll do the same routes just over and over again so it, it's very important to try out new things and be a little bit spontaneous with your decisions. I mean, a, a, a good example of why it's important is think about if you are at a LAN event. You don't want to be doing the exact same thing every time as you progress through the through the ranks as you go because if you do that, the people in your next match if they finish early they're gonna be watching your games and they're gonna go okay this guy likes to do this on this map this is where he likes to sit at anchor or something like that and they will learn and they will adapt to what you're doing and you don't want that to happen to you uh, this could also take into effect if you're playing against a team you've played before if you don't do something different you know they'll catch on if you're on YouTube like me, and some of your you, and you play against some of your subscribers, and they watch your videos closely, they might learn your strategies and they'll counter them. So that that's just some reasons why. So I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this is actually one of the first games that I've used an LMG in like three months. So. My aim might be a little bit shaky in the first half of this video, but it, it gets even better about midway through. Um, so let me talk about the class setup here real quick. If you guys haven't figured out yet, I don't know if you've been if you've had a chance to see yet, but I'm using the MK48 with dual band, stock, and foregrip, and then for attack or uh, for perks I'm using lightweight flak jacket toughness and tack mask and the reason I'm using this is I'm used to using weapons where I can move quicker and I, I just like to have movement speed I don't want to get caught with this big bulky thing and not be able to move at all so I, I feel like lightweight and stock are very important for that Foregrip is a personal choice, in my opinion. I feel like it just bounces a little too much. Um, you know, if, if you don't need it, that's great. Uh, some alternates to this class, you could switch out uh, possibly lightweight with, and then get on hardwired because EMPs are a very good counter to this class. You could switch out foregrip for hardwired. Uh, you could switch foregrip and get quick draw. Um, and some more alternatives possibly would be throwing on a smoke or some trophies if you get rid of foregrip or whatever you deem unnecessary. And remember, guys, this is all personal preference. Experiment a little, see what you like. Don't just copy it exactly how I do it because I happen to do well with this particular class setup. You gotta make sure it works for you. Um, so what? would you use this class for this class should be used for in respawn anchoring mostly uh, you can use it to slay as I'm kind of doing in this video I kinda go back and forth between anchoring and slaying you just gotta see what's gonna work for you uh, in S&D if you happen to use it it can be used to shut down an entire 
lane of travel because it's basically got the the range of a sniper here with the dual band and you can just shut down an entire lane so if you went for example on raid off to the left here and you were looking at the top bedroom you could shut down the entire side like they don't want to push you if you get on a good head glitch with that um Gotta kill. some quick notes though don't get tunnel visioned. It, it can be very easy to get tunnel visioned with this because as you can see when you scope in you don't see your mini map, there's some black edges and everything so you need to be aware, you need to have your teammates calling out to you. Another thing is don't use this class if you are constantly using spawns or they're constantly throwing EMPs and you don't have hardwired. If you're losing spawns constantly and you're trying to rotate with this thing or push hills it's gonna be awful it's gonna be a bloodbath it's it's just not gonna be good for you um, some some counters as I've already mentioned to this class would be EMPs uh, close range scenarios so you know you don't want to get like in a small room and try and win an engagement against somebody even with an AR because they'll probably outgun you um, if multiple people attack you at once because you you have a short range of vision when you're scoped in like I said and it's a slow scoping in time so multiple people attacking you from different sides are could easily take you out as with pretty much any class but that that's just a possible counter to it and one one more quick note don't use this class more than one maybe two times in a series like a GB series or a tournament series because these people know how to adapt most likely if they're if they're good players and they will start to counter you and it's gonna turn pretty bad because once somebody figures out how to counter this and they know you're gonna keep using it ooh, if, if they know what they're doing it's gonna be really bad you're gonna get shut down constantly you could probably go double negative with it um so yeah, what are some good maps to use this on? I would personally use this on raid for any game type. Uh, not necessarily all the time, but raid it just works really well. There's long range sites to go on and everything. Uh, Yemen hardpoint can be useful, but if you're losing spawns, that's going to be a long rotation. So I would use that maybe for market hill or treehouse hill. Mm, maybe if you want to sit up in castle for the initial one and kind of be picking off or if you want to look out church window it, it is situational um, slums hard point if you're anchoring it can be very good on the anchoring on fountain and back wall but you gotta remember they can shoot you through that back wall don't just sit there constantly um, Express S and D is the last one that I would really use it on. It can be good for a B bomb push. You can kind of, if you get down there quickly, you can shut down anybody trying to pop out unless they're really good sniper. And you can also use it to push the mid hallways, the red hall and blue hall. And you can also use it to watch flanks because that's typically a little bit longer range there, and you can get on a nice little head glitch, and they're just not gonna outgun you there. Alright, so I've got a couple more quick little things I want to mention before I go here, guys. I want to talk about some of the things I'm going to be uploading soon. Um, like I said, I I am uploading the second hardpoint game in a row, and I know some of you might get a little angry at that, I don't know, but I will be uploading a CTF this weekend at some point, probably Sunday. Sunday evening that is uh, We're winning this fight. another thing is I will be making a commentary on Call of Duty Ghost pretty soon I'm gonna be talking about some of the changes that the game's gonna bring and what I my predictions are as far as how can the competitive scene is gonna go um, I will also be I, I plan on continuing to upload commentaries like this that include some tips to help the competitive community some of them may be tips you've heard other people talk about 
some of them may be new. I'll try and, you know, add my own perspective to everything, and if you guys listen, maybe you'll learn something, and it'll work out great. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comments below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. So, until next time, everyone, peace out.